A prince is a male ruler or a male member of a monarch's or former monarch's family. Prince is also a title of nobility, often hereditary, in some European states. The feminine equivalent is a princess. The English word derives, via the French word prince, from the Latin noun princeps, from primus and caput, meaning the first, foremost, the chief, most distinguished, noble ruler, prince. Chapter 1 Historical Background The Latin word princeps became the usual title of the informal leader of the Roman Senate some centuries before the transition to empire, the princeps senatus. Emperor Augustus established the formal position of monarch on the basis of principate, not dominion. He also tasked his grandsons as summer rulers of the city when most of the government were on holiday in the country or attending religious rituals, and, for that task, granted them the title of princeps. The title has generic and substantive meanings. Generically, prince refers to a member of a family that ruled by hereditary right or to non-reigning descendants, the title referring to sovereigns, former sovereigns' descendants or to cadets of a sovereign's family. The term may be broadly used of persons in various cultures, continents or eras. In Europe, it is the title legally borne by dynastic cadets in monarchies, and borne by courtesy by members of formerly reigning dynasties. As a substantive title, a prince was a monarch of the lowest rank in post-Napoleonic Europe, for example princes of Andorra, Hohenzollern Siegmaingen, Mingrelia, Monaco, Valdeck, and Piemont, Wallachia, etc. Also substantively, the title was granted by popes and secular monarchs to specific individuals and to the heads of some high-ranking European families who, however, never exercised dynastic sovereignty and whose cadets are not entitled to share the princely title, viz. the princes de Beauvau-Cron, von Bismarck, Kelowna, von Donischerbitten, von Eulenburg, de Forsigny Lucinge, von Lichnowsky, von Pless, Ruffo de Calabria, von Sagan, van Erzel, etc. Generically, cadets of some non-sovereign families whose head bears the non-dynastic title of prince were sometimes also authorized to use the princely title, for example von Karolath Boothen, de Brigley, Demidoff de San Donato, Levin, de Marode, Pignatelli, Radziwill, von Rieder, Yusupov, etc. Substantively. The heirs apparent in some monarchies use a specific princely title associated with a territory within the monarch's realm, for example the princes of Asturias, Grau Para, Orange Vienna, Wales, etc. Substantively, it became the fashion from the 17th century for the heirs apparent of the leading ducal families to assume a princely title, associated with a seigneury in the family's possession. These titles were borne by courtesy and preserved by tradition, not law, for example the princes de, respectively, Bidek, Marsillac, Tane Charont, Pouar, Leon, etc. Chapter 2, Prince as Generic for Ruler. The original but now less common use of the word was the application of the Latin word princeps, from late Roman law and the classical system of government that eventually gave way to the European feudal society. In this sense, a prince is a ruler of a territory that is sovereign or quasi-sovereign, i.e., exercising substantial prerogatives associated with monarchs of independent nations, such as the immediate states within the historical boundaries of the Holy Roman Empire. In medieval and early modern Europe, there were as many as 200 such territories, especially in Italy, Germany, and Gaelic Ireland. In this sense, prince is used of any and all rulers, regardless of actual title or precise rank. This is the Renaissance use of the term found in Niccolò Machiavelli's famous work, Il Principe. It is also used in this sense in the United States Declaration of Independence. As a title, by the end of the medieval era, prince was borne by rulers of territories that were either substantially smaller than those of or exercised fewer of the rights of sovereignty than did emperors and kings. A lord of even a quite small territory might come to be referred to as a prince before the 13th century, either from translations of a native title into the Latin princeps or when the lord's territory was allodial. The lord of an allodium owned his lands and exercised prerogatives over the subjects in his territory absolutely, owing no feudal homage or duty as a vassal to a liege lord, nor being subject to any higher jurisdiction. Most small territories designated as principalities during feudal eras were allodial, for example the princedom of dooms. Lords who exercised lawful authority over territories and people within a feudal hierarchy were also sometimes regarded as princes in the general sense, especially if they held the rank of count or higher. This is attested in some surviving styles for for example, British earls, marquises, and dukes are still addressed by the crown on ceremonial occasions as high and noble princes. In parts of the Holy Roman Empire in which primogeniture did not prevail, all legitimate agnates had an equal right to the family's hereditary titles. While offices such as emperor, king, and elector could only be legally occupied by one dynast at a time, holders of such other titles as duke, margrave, landgrave, count palatine, 
and Prince could only differentiate themselves by adding the name of their appanage to the family's original title. This tended to proliferate unwieldy titles and, as agnetic primogeniture gradually became the norm in the Holy Roman Empire by the end of the 18th century, another means of distinguishing the monarch from other members of his dynasty became necessary. Gradual substitution of the title of prince for the monarch's title of first occurred, and became customary for cadets in all German dynasties except in the Grand Duchies of Mecklenburg and Oldenburg. Both prince and first are translated into English as prince, but they reflect not only different but mutually exclusive concepts. This distinction had evolved before the 18th century for dynasties headed by a first in Germany. The custom spread through the continent to such an extent that a renowned imperial general, who belonged to a cadet branch of a reigning ducal family, remains best known to history by the generic dynastic title, Prince Eugene of Savoy. Note that the princely title was used as a prefix to his Christian name, which also became customary. Cadets of France's other princes étranger affected similar usage under the Bourbon kings. Always facing the skepticism of Saint-Simon, and like-minded courtiers, these quasi-royal aristocrats' assumption of the princely title as a personal, rather than territorial, designation encountered some resistance. In writing Histoire Généalogique et Chronologique, Perra Anselm accepts that, by the end of the 17th century, the heir apparent to the house of La Tour d'Auvergne's sovereign duchy bears the title Prince de Bouillon, but he would record in 1728 that the heir's La Tour cousin, the Count of Oliex, is known as the Prince Frederick. The post-medieval rank of G-first at a graph embraced but elevated the German equivalent of the intermediate French, English and Spanish nobles. In the Holy Roman Empire, these nobles rose to dynastic status by preserving from the imperial crown the exercise of such sovereign prerogatives as the minting of money, the muster of military troops and the right to wage war and contract treaties, local judicial authority and constabulary enforcement, and the habit of intermarrying with sovereign dynasties. By the 19th century, cadets of a first would become known as princes. Chapter 3, Prince's Consort and Princes of the Blood The husband of a queen regnant is usually titled Prince Consort or simply Prince, whereas the wives of male monarchs take the female equivalent of their husband's title. In Brazil, Portugal, and Spain, however, the husband of a female monarch is accorded the masculine equivalent of her title, at least after he fathered her heir. In previous epochs, husbands of queens regnant were often deemed entitled to the crown matrimonial, sharing their consort's regnal title, and rank jury uxoris. However, in cultures which allow the ruler to have several wives or official concubines, these women, sometimes collectively referred to as a harem, often have specific rules determining their relative hierarchy, and a variety of titles, which may distinguish between those whose offspring can be in line for the succession or not, or specifically who is mother to the heir to the throne. To complicate matters, the style his slash her highness, a prefix often accompanying the title of a dynastic prince, may be awarded slash withheld separately. Although the arrangement set out above is the one that is most commonly understood, there are also different systems. Depending on country, epoch, and translation, other usages of prince are possible. Foreign language titles, such as Italian, Principe, French, Prince, German, First, German, Prince, Russian, Romanized, Kanyas, etc., are usually translated as prince in English. Some princely titles are derived from those of national rulers, such as Terevich from Tsar. Other examples are Mirza, Konzada, Nawabzade, Sahibzadar, Shahzada, Sultanzada. However, some princely titles develop in unusual ways, such as adoption of a style for dynasts which is not pegged to the ruler's title, but rather continues an old tradition, claims dynastic succession to a lost monarchy, or descends from a ruler whose princely title or sovereign status was not de jure hereditary, but attributed to descendants as an international courtesy. Chapter 3 Section 1 Specific Titles in some dynasties, a specific style other than prince has become customary for dynasts, such as Phils de France in the House of Coppet, and Infante. Infante was born by children of the monarch other than the heir apparent in all of the Iberian monarchies. Some monarchies used a specific princely title for their heirs, such as Prince of Asturias in Spain and Prince of Brazil in Portugal. Sometimes a specific title is commonly used by various dynasties in a region, for example Mayan in various of the Punjabi princely hill states. European dynasties usually awarded appanages to princes of the blood, typically attached to a feudal noble title, such as Prince of Orange in the Netherlands, Britain's royal dukes, the Dauphin in France, the Count of Flanders in Belgium, and the Count of Syracuse in Sicily. Sometimes appanage titles were princely, for example Prince of Achaia, Prince de Conde, Prince of Carignan, but it was the fact that their owners were of princely rank rather than that they held a princely title which was the source of their preeminence. For the often specific terminology concerning an heir apparent, see Crown Prince. 
Chapter 4, Prince as a Substantive Title Other princes derive their title not from dynastic membership as such, but from inheritance of a title named for a specific and historical territory. The family's possession of prerogatives or properties in that territory might be long past. Such were most of the princedoms of France's ancien regime, so resented for their pretentiousness in the memoirs of Saint-Simon. These included the princedoms of Arches Charleville, Boispel Henri Quimont, Chalet, Chateau Rigno, Gemini, Martigues, Mercoa, Sedan, Talmond, Tingri, and the kingship of Iverto, among others. Chapter 4 Section 1, Prince as a Reigning Monarch A prince or princess who is the head of state of a territory that has a monarchy as a form of government is a reigning prince. Chapter 4 Section 1 Subsection 2 Extant Principalities The current princely monarchies include The Co-Principality of Andorra The Emirate of Kuwait The Principality of Liechtenstein The Principality of Monaco The Sovereign Military Order of Malta The Emirate of Qatar The Member Emirates of the Federation in the United Arab Emirates Abu Dhabi Ajman Dubai for Jaira, Ras al Khaima, Sharjah, Um al Kun. Chapter 4, Section 1, Subsection 3 Micronations. In the same tradition, some self proclaimed monarchs of so called micronations style themselves as princes. Roy Bates called himself Prince Roy of the Principality of Sealand. Leonard George Casley called himself Prince Leonard I of the Principality of Hutt River. Chapter 4 Section 1 Subsection 4 Prince Exercising Head of State's Authority Various monarchies provide for different modes in which princes of the dynasty can temporarily or permanently share in the style and or office of the monarch, for example as regent or viceroy. Though these offices may not be reserved legally for members of the ruling dynasty, in some traditions they are filled by dynasts, a fact which may be reflected in the style of the office, for example Prince President for Napoleon III as French head of state but not yet emperor, or Prince Lieutenant in Luxembourg, repeatedly filled by the Crown Prince before the Grand Duke's abdication, or in form of consortium imperii. Some monarchies even have a practice in which the monarch can formally abdicate in favor of his heir and yet retain a kingly title with executive power, for example Maha Apeyavaraja, though sometimes also conferred on powerful regents who exercised executive powers. Chapter 4 Section 2, Non-Dynastic Princes In several countries of the European continent, such as France, prince can be an aristocratic title of someone having a high rank of nobility or as lord of a significant fief, but not ruling any actual territory and without any necessary link to the royal family, which makes it difficult to compare with the British system of royal princes. France and the Holy Roman Empire the kings of France started to bestow the style of prince, as a title among the nobility, from the 16th century onwards. These titles were created by elevating a seigneury to the nominal status of a principality, although prerogatives of sovereignty were never conceded in the letter's patent. Princely titles self-assumed by the princes du sang and by the princes étranger were generally tolerated by the king and used at the royal court, outside the Parlement of Paris. These titles held no official place in the hierarchy of the nobility, but were often treated as ranking just below ducal peerages, since they were often inherited by ducal heirs. French titles of prince recognized by the king. Holy Roman Empire states annexed by France. Arches Charleville, in the Ardennes region, near the border with the empire. Chateau Renault, near Arches Charleville. Dooms, on the east bank of the Rhône. Orange. Sedan, held by the Dukes of Bouillon. Ancient principalities, seated in the Kingdom of France. Boispel, later Henri Quimont, in the Berry region, a sovereign principality recognized in 1598. Lux, in the Bern region, also styled sovereign count. Iverto, in the Normandy region, recognized, nominally, as King of Iverto. Principalities created by the King. Chateau Porcian, in the Ardennes region, created in 1561 for the House of Croix. Gemini, in Brittany, created in 1667 for the House of Rouen. Joinville, in the Champagne region, created in 1552 for the House of Lorraine. Martigue, in the Provence region, created 16th century for cadets of the House of Lorraine. Mercoa, in the Auvergne region, created in 1563 for cadets of the House of Lorraine, later a duchy, recreated in 1719. Tingri, in the Nord-Pas-de-Calais region, created in 1587 for the House of Luxembourg. 
The princes of Condé and Conti, heads of cadet branches of the French royal house of Bourbon, used recognized princely titles, but the lordships of Condé and Conti were never formally created principalities by the king. Unrecognized titles of prince. Igramant. An A, used by the dukes of Vendôme, then the dukes of Penthiver. Antibe, claimed by the de Grasse family. Bigdeal, in Bern. Bidek, in Bern used by the Dukes of Gramont, but the heir was usually styled Count of Guiche rather than Prince of Bidek. Carency, in Artois. Chabonise, in Angam was, reduced to a Marquisate in 1702. Chalet, in Perigord. Commercy, Lordship of Lorraine. Courtney, the House of Courtney legitimately descended from Louis VI of France but was not recognized as Princes du Sang by France's kings. The last branch of the house used the style of Prince of Courtney from the 17th century. The style passed to the Dukes of Baufremont. Elbeuf, Lordship of Normandy. Lambal, in Brittany, used by the heir of the Bourbon Duke of Penthiver. Lambesque, in Provence, used by various cadets of the House of Guise, notably by the heirs of the Dukes of Elbeuf. Lyon, Viscountcy of Brittany. Lisnois, in French Comte, used by the Dukes of Baufremont after the Courtney inheritance. Marslac, in Angam was, used by the heir of the Duke de La Rochefoucauld. Morbison, in Ile de France, used by the Dukes of Rowan Rowan. Montauban, in Brittany, used by various cadets of the House of Rowan. Montbazon, a duchy of the House of Rowan, style of Prince of Montbazon used by various cadets of the House. Mortagne, in Aquitaine, used by the Dukes of Richelieu. Poir, in Picardy, used by various families, twice raised to a duchy. Pons, in Saint-Ange, used by cadets of the House of Guise. Rochefort, used by cadets of the House of Rowan. Siles, Spain, used by the head of the House of Siles. Subis, used by head of the second branch of the House of Rowan, also Dukes of Rowan-Rowan. Soyon, in Dauphine, used by cadets of the Dukes of Ozes. Talmond, in Vendée, used by the Dukes of La Tremouille. Tane Charente, used by the heirs of the Dukes of Mortmar. Turin, Viscounty of the House of La Tour d'Auvergne, style of Prince de Turin used by cadets of the House. Viagas, province of Burgos, used by the head of the House of Viagas. This can even occur in a monarchy within which an identical but real and substantive feudal title exists, such as first in German. An example of this is Otto von Bismarck, was created Prince von Bismarck in the Empire of Reunited Germany, under the Hohenzollern dynasty. Spain, France, and Netherlands. In other cases, such titular princedoms are created in chief of an event, such as a treaty or a victory. Examples include The Spanish minister Manuel Godoy was created Principe de la Paz by his king for negotiating the 1795 double peace treaty of Basilea, by which the revolutionary French Republic made peace with Prussia, and with Spain. The triumphant generals who led their troops to victory often received a victory title from Napoleon, both princely and ducal. King William I of the Netherlands bestowed the victory title of Prince of Waterloo upon Arthur Wellesley, Duke of Wellington after his defeat of Napoleon I Bonaparte at Waterloo in 1815. Joseph Bonaparte conferred the title Prince of Spain to be hereditary on his children and grandchildren in the male and female line. Eastern Europe. In the former Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, the titles of prince dated either to the times before the Union of Lublin or were granted to Polish nobles by foreign monarchs, as the law in Poland forbade the king from dividing nobility by granting them hereditary titles, see the princely houses of Poland. In the Russian system, translated as prince, is the highest degree of official nobility. Members of older dynasties, whose realms were eventually annexed to the Russian Empire, were also accorded the title of Kanyars, sometimes after first being allowed to use the higher title of Tsarevich. The many surviving branches of the Rurik dynasty used the Kanyars title before and after they yielded sovereignty to their kinsmen, the Grand Princes of Muscovy, who became Tsars and, under the House of Romanov, Emperors of Russia. Chapter 5, Title in Various Western Traditions and Languages In each case, the title is followed by the female form and then the name of the territory associated with it, each separated by a slash. If a second title is also given, then that one is for a prince of the blood, the first for a principality. 
Be aware that the absence of a separate title for a Prince of the Blood may not always mean no such title exists, alternatively, the existence of a word does not imply there is also a reality in the linguistic territory concerned, it may very well be used exclusively to render titles in other languages, regardless whether there is a historical link with any. Etymologically, we can discern the following traditions. Chapter 5 Section 1, Romance Languages Languages only using the Latin root princeps. Catalan, princip slash princessa, princip slash princessa. French, prince slash princess, prince slash princess. Friulian, princip slash principesse, princip slash principesse. Italian, principa slash principessa, principa slash principessa. Latin, princeps slash princeps slash. Mornegosque, principu slash principessa, principu slash principessa. Occitan, Prince slash princessa, prince slash princessa. Portuguese, principa slash princessa, principa slash princessa. Retura monch, prinzi slash princessa, prinzi slash princessa. Romanian, prince slash princessa, principa slash principessa. Spanish, principa slash princessa, principa slash princessa. Venetian, principa slash principessa, principa slash principessa. Chapter 5, Section 2. Celtic languages. Celtic languages. Breton, prince slash princess. Irish, prionsa slash bamfrinza, flaith slash banflaith. Scottish Gaelic, prionsa slash banafrionsa, flath slash banflath. Welsh, to wesog slash tywisoges, prince slash princes. Chapter 5, Section 3 Germanic languages. Languages that use an equivalent of the German first. Anglo-Teutonic, King's Thane. English, Prince slash Princess, Prince slash Princess. Afrikaans, Prince. Danish, Fist slash Fistind, Prince slash Princessa. Dutch, Vorst slash Vorstin, Prince slash Princes. Faroese, Firsty slash Firstafru slash Firstinner, Princeur slash Princessa. West Frisian, Forst slash Forstin, Prince slash Princessa. German, First slash first in, prince slash princessin. Icelandic, firsty slash first inger, prince slash princessa. Luxembourgish, first slash first in, prince slash princessin. Norwegian, fist slash fist in, prince slash princessa. Old Norwegian, Conningus Thiena. Old English, Etheling slash Hulftige. Swedish, first slash first inner, prince slash princessa. Chapter 5 Section 4, Slavic Languages Slavic Belarusian, Serevich slash Zarevna, Karalvich slash Karaluna, Prince slash Princessa Bosnian, slash, slash Bulgarian, Kanyaz slash Kanyaginya, Prince slash Princessa Croatian, Nez slash Nejinja, Kralievic slash Kralievna, Prince slash Princesa Czech, Kanica slash Nezna, Kralvik Prince slash Princena. Macedonian, Nez slash Negina, Prince slash Princesa. Polish, Kasharja slash Ksizna, Krolweis slash Kroluna. Russian, slash, Sarevich slash Zarevna, Kralievich slash Kralievna, Prince slash Princesa. Serbian, slash, slash. Slovak, Nyaza slash Nazna, Kralovic, Prince slash Princena. Slovene, Nez slash Nejinja, Prince slash Princessa, Kralievic slash Kraljikna. Ukrainian, Kanyaz slash Nyashnya, Zarenko slash Zarevna, Korolenka slash Korolevna, Prince slash Princeisna. Chapter 5, Section 5, Other Western Languages. Albanian, Prince slash Prince, Prince slash Prince. Estonian, Verst slash Verstina, Prince slash Princess. Finnish, Rotinas slash Rotinatar. Princey slash princessa. Georgian, slash Tavadi, uplists you lie. Greek, pyro iota gamma kappa eta psi, pyro iota gamma kappa eta pi iota sigma sigma alpha. Greek, pyro iota gamma kappa eta pi alpha sigma, pyro iota gamma kappa eta pi iota sigma sigma alpha. Hungarian, hersig slash herzegno or feudalum slash vegedelum no if head of state. Latvian, firsts slash firstin, Princess slash princess. Lithuanian, Kunigakstis slash Kunigakstjin, Prinkas slash princess. 
Maltese, Princip slash Principessa, Princip slash Principessa. Persian, Shah Zaid, Shahpur. Turkish, Prince slash Princes, Said. Chapter 6, Title in Other Traditions and Languages. In Netherlands, Belgium, France, Italy, Japan, Portugal, Russia, Spain and Hungary the title of prince has also been used as the highest title of nobility, above the title of duke, while the same usage has occurred in Germany and Austria but then one rank below the title of duke and above count. The above is essentially the story of European, Christian dynasties and other nobility. Also exported to their colonial and other overseas territories and otherwise adopted by rather westernized societies elsewhere. Applying these essentially Western concepts, and terminology, to other cultures even when they don't do so, is common but in many respects rather dubious. Different backgrounds have also begot significantly different dynastic and nobiliary systems, which are poorly represented by the closest Western analogy. It therefore makes sense to treat these per civilization. Chapter 6, Section 1, Islamic Traditions Arabian tradition since the caliphate, in several monarchies it remains customary to use the title sheikh for all members of the royal family. In families which claim descent from Muhammad, this is expressed in either of a number of titles, Sayyid, Sharif, these are retained even when too remote from any line of succession to be a member of any dynasty. In Saudi Arabia the title of Emir is used in role of prince for all members of the House of Saud. In Iraq, the direct descendants of previous emirs from the largest tribes, who ruled the kingdoms before modern statehood, use the title of sheikh or prince as the progeny of royalty. In the Ottoman Empire, the sovereign of imperial rank sultan, was styled padisha with a host of additional titles, reflecting his claim as political successor to the various conquered states. Princes of the blood, male, were given the style Sadaid. Persia princes as members of a royal family, are referred to by the title Shahzada, meaning descendant of the king. Since the word Zadeh could refer to either a male or female descendant, Shahzada, had the parallel meaning of princess as well. Princes can also be sons of provincial kings and the title referring to them would be the title of Khanzada. Princes as people who got a title from the king are called Mirza, diminutive of Amir Zadeh. In Indian Muslim dynasties, the most common titles were Mirza and Shahzada, while Nawab Zadeh and Sahib Zadar were also given to younger blood princes. In Kazakh Khanate the title Sultan was used for lords from a ruling dynasty, that gives them a right to be elected as Khan, as an experienced ruler, and an honorific Tor, for ordinary members of a ruling dynasty. Chapter 6, Section 2, Non-Islamic Asian Traditions Chapter 6, Section 2 Subsection 2 China Before Qin Dynasty, Prince had no special title. Since Han Dynasty, royal family members were entitled Wang, the former highest title which was then replaced by Huang Di. Since Western Jin, the Wang rank was divided into two ranks, Qin Wang and Jun Wang. Only family of the emperor can be entitled Qin Wang, so prince is usually translated as Qin Wang, for example. For the son of the ruler, prince is usually translated as Huang Zi or Wang Zi, for example. As a title of nobility, prince can be translated as Qin Wang according to tradition, Dagong if one want to emphasize that it is a very high rank but below the king, or just Zhu Hao which refers to princes of all ranks in general. For example, Chapter 6, Section 2 Subsection 3 Japan In Japan, the title Koshaku was used as the highest title of Kazoku before the present constitution. Koshaku, however, is more commonly translated as Duke to avoid confusion with the following royal ranks in the imperial household, Shino, Naishino, and Shino Elite, Princess Consort, or O, Jio O, and Ohi. The former is the higher title of a male member of the imperial family while the latter is the lower. Chapter 6, Section 2 Subsection 4 Korea In the Joseon dynasty, the title prince was used for the king's male line descendants. There were generally the divisions of princedom, the king's legitimate son used the title Dagon. A son born of a concubine as well as the great-great-grandsons of the king used the title Gun. But the title of Gun wasn't limited to the royal family. Instead, it was often granted as an honorary and non-hereditary title. As noble titles no longer exist in modern Korea, the English word prince is now usually translated as Wangja, referring to princes from non-Korean royal families. Princes and principalities in continental Europe are almost always confused with dukes and duchies in Korean speech, both being translated as Gong and Gonk. Chapter 6, Section 2 Subsection 5 Sri Lanka The title prince was used for the king's son in Sinhalese generation in Sri Lanka. Chapter 6, Section 2 Subsection 6 India 
See princely states for the often particular, mainly Hindu titles in former British India, including modern Pakistan, Bangladesh, Burma, and Nepal. Chapter 6, Section 2 Subsection 7 Indochina. See Cambodia, Vietnam, and Laos. Chapter 6, Section 2 Subsection 8 Philippines. See Principalia, the Sultanate of Maguindanao, and the Sultanate of Sulu. Chapter 6, Section 2 Subsection 9 Thailand. In Thailand, the title of prince was divided into three classes depending on the rank of their mothers. Those who were born of a king and had a royal mother are titled Kaofa Chai. Those born of a king and a commoner, or children of Kaofas, are tilted Praong Jiao. The children of Praong Chaos are titled Mom Jiao, abbreviated MC. Chapter 6 Section 3, African Traditions A Western model was sometimes copied by emancipated colonial regimes. Otherwise, most of the styles for members of ruling families do not lend themselves well to English translation. Nonetheless, in general the princely style has gradually replaced the colonialist title of chief, which does not particularly connote dynastic rank to Westerners, for example Swazi royal family, and Zulu royal family. Nominally ministerial chiefly titles, such as the Yoruba Oloi and the Zulu Induna, still exist as distinct titles in kingdoms all over Africa. Chapter 7, Title in Religion. In states with an element of theocracy, this can affect princehood in several ways, such as the style of the ruler, but also the mode of succession. Furthermore, certain religious offices may be considered of princely rank, or imply comparable temporal rights. The Prince Popes, Pope, Hereditary Prince Cardinals, Cardinals, Prince Lord Bishops, Prince Bishops, Lord Bishops, Prince Provost, and Prince Abbots are referred to as Princes of the Church. Also, in Christianity, Jesus Christ is sometimes referred to as the Prince of Peace. Other titles for Jesus Christ are Prince of Princes, Prince of the Covenant, Prince of Life, and Prince of the Kings of the Earth. Further, Satan is popularly titled the Prince of Darkness, and in the Christian faith he is also referred to as the Prince of this world and the Prince of the Power of the Air. Another title for Satan, not as common today but apparently so in approximately 30 AD by the Pharisees of the day, was the title Prince of the Devils. Prince of Israel, Prince of the Angels, and Prince of Light are titles given to the Archangel Michael. Some Christian churches also believe that since all Christians, like Jesus Christ, are children of God, then they too are princes and princesses of heaven. Saint Peter, a disciple of Jesus, is also known as the Prince of the Apostles. Chapter 7 Section 1, Islam Chapter 7 Section 1 Subsection 2 Sunni Islam The title Prince is used in Sunni Islam for the Hazrat Aishans, who are leading the Naqshbandi Sufi order as blood descendants of their Grand Patriarch Syed Bahauddin Naqshband. The title Shahzada, Amir, Mir and Sadar are all translated as Prince and are until today used to address the Hazrat Aishans in regards to their relations to the Mughal and Pashtun, royal family, and to pay tribute to their responsibility of leading the Naqshbandi Sufi order. It is until today used as a strengthened custom that survived the abolishment of the Afghan monarchy on the occasion of the Soviet invasion in Afghanistan. Chapter 7 Section 1 Subsection 3 Shia Islam In Shia Islam the title prince is also used as an address for the Aga Khan the leader of the Nizari Ismaili Shiite community. The title prince is similar as for the Hazrat Ishan prevailing as a custom on the occasion of its long use as members of the Qajar royal family, and in regards to their responsibility of leading Ismaili Shiite Islam.